Hey everyone, it's time for Cooking with Gahool. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, hey, this isn't your usual gimmick, that's Surfer's gimmick. Well, let's just say he's indisposed right now. I've taken care of that faggot. But, uh, I'm gonna here cook, show you how to cook a glazed ham. We got here, I'm sorry, I gotta move my um, wrestling champagne out of the way. There we go. What you got here is a pre-cooked bone-in ham. You want to get these at one of the stores, you can do this with any kind of ham. It can be a spiral ham, a normal ham, whatever you want to do. But this process is the exact same. First things first, you got to score the ham. To do that, you want to start at one base of the ham about here, towards one end, and just cut in about an inch, third of an inch deep. Not too big. You can see, you can get a rule here. Look at how a third of an inch is. See that? Just right up to there. So not very deep. Just get your knife in there. I'm going to show you how to do it from this side. i got to find a way to prop this up. Here we go. i got to find a way to prop this fucking thing up. There we go. That's a good cut. You can see this? What you want to do is hold it down. Two hands. Just really score. This one looks kind of pre-scored, but you want to get a real score in there. It's like that. And then just another inch apart. Like that. All the way around. A real sharp knife is good for this. You want to get it all the way down to the edges. You don't want to start cutting pieces off of it, but you want to get a good score in there. Here, now you shouldn't be cutting towards yourself, but you know, I don't give a shit. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. The pressure isn't towards yourself. The pressure is down on the hand. You gotta round it out, but always make sure the pressure is going down into the hand, never up and around from it. Just really score that bad, baby. Really can't see what I'm doing from this side, so I'll just get this done quick. Just like that. Very easy. Then you want to turn it diagonally. Do it again. Score. 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 Making little X's. See? You're making X's. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just gotta get something to get the juices to flow in. You understand me? It's not anything. Doesn't be aesthetically pretty or anything. It just has to get the job done. That's a score ham if I've ever seen one. Looking pretty nice there, actually. Now, all you do is you gotta transfer it into this bad boy. This here is the roasting pan. Get one of these to the store. Pretty easy step. So, step one, score the ham. Step two, put in the roasting pan. If you don't have a roasting pan, just a regular tray would probably be fine. So you're you're asking for trouble though, because the it's so heavy it might bend the tray. You really want to use a roasting pan, but you can use a tray if you're desperate. You also need where is it? Tin foil, tin foil, um, both for your hat to protect you from 5G waves and to cover the ham. And besides that, for the glaze itself, we've got a can of pineapple slices, gray poupon, brown sugar, and Dr Pepper. Pretty easy. One can of this, take the juice out of that, a third of a cup of this, and about a cup of brown sugar, and that should be good. Preheat that oven to 350. Your oven should be pretty digital, mine's an older oven, but some ovens have timers on them. You're gonna put this in the oven for two hours. It will be done in three hours, but you're gonna wanna start the glaze around two hours in. So set it for two hours, and start the glaze. We'll come back to that, I'll tell you when we come back to that. First things first, let's put this in the roasting pan. Just like this. Woo! 
That looks nice. That looks nice. Now what you want to do here, you see that? Set up my camera so you can see me do it. But you want to take two hands, open up your oven very carefully. Usually you want to put that tray on the bottom rack of the oven so it's big enough to hold the whole roasting pan. All you want to do is just lower it in, just like that. Boom. Then you want to set your timer. I'm using my microwave, but you can set whatever kind of timer you have. Kitchen timer. You want to do it for two hours. So what would that be in minutes? 120 minutes? Well, it's 4.41 right now. So we're going to come back. All right, we're back. Now, as you can see here, I've got this thing already boiling. This is the glaze. It's the one can of Dr. Pepper. The juice from this pineapple slices can. About half of that thing of a brown sugar. And a big old spoon of this Grey Poupon. You put too much of the Grey Poupon in there. It smells pretty mustardy. Just gotta wait this for this thing to boil off. About half of it needs to boil off. So it gets real sticky, real nice and caramely, real glaze-esque. You know what I'm saying. I'm just going to take this brush and paint it on the ham. should be done in about 10 minutes. Let's take a good look at that. Oh yeah, that's looking good in there. In fact, it smells like it's done. Let's take this out. Hold up. Number one thing, gotta make sure that's nice and ready. Wash this glaze till you can't, gotta keep stirring it. Gotta let it do its work, but you gotta keep stirring it. Alright, be back in about 20 minutes. Be what, what's the quick. end of the, your cooking just, just watch. Hey guys, I've got to film the ending, but here's how you end this ham. You gotta make the glaze, I said you had to make the glaze earlier, yeah. Dip the brush in it and just brush it on, just like that. And then you carve that ham up and slice it up real good. And you got yourself a nice, tasty, honey glazed ham. What you want to do? You can use a regular knife, but I've got an electric carving knife. It makes life a hell of a lot easier. Just plug it in just like that. There go. And you're supposed to use a knife, a fork, to hold the scale. Just cut right in there. Slice off a nice piece of ham for yourself. 
Look at that. It just looks delicious. Beautiful. Mm, delicious. Now I gotta carve the rest of this up, so I'll see you gents later. Have yourself a excellent night and a happy Easter for everyone here at uh, me. Yeah. <laughs>